stakeholders expected to be involved in the preparations and likely to participate in the next elections had met here for a dialogue. Talking with each other in attempts to resolve all the issues that may hinder peaceful, free and fair elections next year. One of those factors, according to the opposition, is the continued stay in office of the commissioners of the IEBC. I wish you could walk for one mile in my shoes. The chairman still insists that those who want him out should follow the law, even though by now he says he still doesn't know why they want him out. When you are invited to the podium, the first thing you say is, IBC must go. Then now you, as you recollect your thoughts, you think of why it should go. The politicians though had different ideas and insist the activities to have the commission out will continue. Uh, we must go according to the law. You will not just evict people from offices. And even if you do, I will go to Garissa and stay there and I will still be the chairman of the commission. And, and enjoy my, my, my camel meat. Don't look at the law. <laughs> the answer is not in the law that is defending you. The answer is the popular perception. If the people you are working for do not believe in what you are doing, then we must ask ourselves at the moral level, at the individual level, do I have any further business to remain? Must I be there if people feel that it can't happen with me? And the fact that we are IABC commissioners does not mean that we have lost our human rights, our right to dignity, our right to fair trial, our right to fair administrative action, our right to be presumed innocent and then guilty. All these rights are fundamental rights guaranteed in the Constitution. To work diligently for the people is a sacrifice. To live when the occasion demands that you live is also a sacrifice. And we are being asked to put Kenya before self. And I know it's painful. Sometimes you feel you've done your best and you have not been appreciated. But that is the nature of public job. The politicians say the easiest option for him and the other commissioners is to resign and either opt for a package or none. Isaac, however, says he will not relent, even with the means given of removing him and the other commissioners from office. But incompetence is one of the grounds on which the commission, the commissioners, can be removed. The second ground specifically mentioned there is chapter 6. And again, I surmise that it will not be too difficult to, to get together evidence to support both the grounds. As for integrity, Isaac insists he never took a cent from the proceeds of the chicken gate bribe, even though he says he has been unfairly targeted. Nowhere in, those, in that uh, current position case am I mentioned as having asked for or received a bribe. Even in the email communication, where they're discussing who to give what. The case in which officials of the defunct IIEC are accused of asking for bribes from officials of a company in the UK to award it a printing tender is currently being investigated by the EACC, and Isaac has been one of those questioned. It has been named the Chicken Get Scandal. I have not eaten any chicken, either its wings or its legs, and allow me to say that. Other than a reformation of the IEBC, the forum has proposed numerous changes that need to be in place before the next elections. With several players calling for reforms before the next general elections are held, it could be possible that they are conducted when numerous changes have been made, not just in the commission, but also in the way elections and campaigns are done in the country. Andrew Ochien, NTV.